What makes work meaningful? It's something that we will spend a big chunk of our lives doing. So to have meaning in our lives, it seems like there has to be some kind of meaning in our work. Well, one definition of work that I like is that work is about creating value creating something of value, increasing something of value, giving somebody something that is somehow valuable. And it can be in all the different ways that it's possible, but anything that you can imagine that has value to somebody is work. And all work somehow does create value for somebody, some kind of value, and somebody's getting something. But if we become completely cut off from that meaning, from that sense of the value, the purpose of our work, then the work must be painful. It must be painful to go through work without a sense of what is the point of all of it? What is the value in it? Now, of course, the most basic thing of going to work is getting paid, getting money. So the money is the store of value itself that we can be, we go to work because we are then given some money and we can then use that money to buy things that are valuable for us. So there's the value of simply making money. But because we spend so much of our lives, so much of our waking time and our energy and our efforts and really the, so much of the center of our lives goes into our work, if the only value that the work provides is the money that we get out of it, it's, it's just such an empty, hollow shell to spend time doing something that feels pointless, that feels like it has no value, simply so that we can get a payment uh, to spend during the shorter times that we're not working. So it seems like to be satisfied with our work and to feel even the joy of work, maybe joy is too strong a word, but at least the acceptance and some level of satisfaction with our work the non-hating of our work. We have to somehow feel like it is valuable and, f and understand the value and purpose of it. So every work has this. And one way or another, we are contributing value. But if it's something that it's just not impressive to us, just like, eh, I, yeah, in some ways, you know, somebody might consider it valuable, but I don't really care about it at all, then that would not be satisfying. Or even if I just can't, you can't find the value, if you can't find where that something valuable and meaningful is being created through your work, if you don't feel that, then it seems like that work cannot be satisfying. I mean, think of a simple, the most simple job, like if you're making food and you sell somebody food, it's, it's one of the most basic, valuable things that anybody can do. Everybody needs food every day. And if you are helping to provide them with that food, you are delivering very serious value to 
all your customers. Either if you're growing the food, if you're helping to make it into finished products and helping to cook and serve it, all those things are contributing very significant value to people. Now, if you really love food and you really love that whole world of creating and serving food and you really feel the significance of the value of food, then that can be a very satisfying work. And if you don't really care about food much at all, you just want to eat what you need to and be done with it, then, well, you're still creating that value if you work in that profession, but it may not be satisfying because you're not intensely feeling that value. It's just like, well, I can acknowledge that yes, people need to eat and yes, people enjoy food that is of high quality and tastes good. And yeah, uh, so yeah, it's useful to deliver that. I'm being useful, but if you don't care about it, then it's hard to get fired up with a sense of the meaning and purpose of doing work and trading life, of trading so many hours of your life for that work. Think of any job you can put in this perspective of thinking what value it creates for somebody. A plumber, another very useful service by creating working plumbing and stopping things, stopping, you know, correcting the problem of plumbing not working and helping to create the situation of plumbing working creates a very valuable situation of people can live in homes and work in buildings that have working plumbing, which is something we normally don't think about uh, until it's not there. Uh, if it's working though, having working plumbing is just something we assume that makes our lives so much more comfortable and uh, improves our health uh, so much that we don't even notice it except when it isn't there. So the plumber is really adding value in a very clear way. Now someone working like an artist, that's where it becomes a lot more vague because it's much more difficult to define value. You could be making some kind of art and you know many maybe almost everybody who looks at it or listens to it or whatever they would say well what are you doing that that seems entirely pointless there's no value in it why don't you do something that has practical value it's not always clear what the value is and many people might not see the value whereas Everybody would appreciate the value of working plumbing. Everybody would appreciate the value of getting food. Maybe not your specific food, but everybody understands the value of that. Well, the value of art is much harder to really put a, put a number on or put any kind of definition on. Maybe most people find what you're doing valueless, and yet, you may have some people that consider it to be uh, of great value the, value. the experience of that art for those people could be of great value. And then if you consider maybe uh, more negative professions, they, they also involve value in some way, but maybe in a way that is not so helpful. For example, if your profession is to be a thief, you can be a very hardworking thief and really put in diligent effort towards your job. But really, what is a thief doing? They're moving property from other people to themselves. So the job consists of not so much creating new value, but simply moving value in their own direction and, and depriving other people of that value. So whatever work that you're doing, I find an interesting question to ask is how can it be described in this kind of way of who's getting value, what kind of value, what is being created out of this work? 
And it seems to me like that is, if we can really feel that and really accept that and really celebrate the value that we're creating in our work, then we can really find meaning, the meaning that we need to trade so much of our lives for it. <laughs>